Hello everybody and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today we will be launching a small satellite into low carbon orbit. So let's go. We have a liftoff from the KSE at, uh, I don't know the time. I don't know uh, Kerbin's uh, time zones or whatever. Yeah, you might uh, hear that the um, that there's no sound in the recording. That's because my iMac does not record any sound for some reason. Like, come on, Apple. You can do better than that. You have one of the best phones on the planet. Yeah, uh, we're going for an equatorial orbit. And this rocket has boosters. It's a double-stage vehicle. And... I guess that's all there is to say about the launch. Uh, just the normal gravity turn. I don't. I don't know. I feel. I, I feel like now I went too far with these commentary videos because now they're starting to get way too similar to Matt Lowndes. Even though this is my very first KSP commentary video, now I don't want to do these anymore. But uh, tell me uh, what you think about this commentary. Uh, did you guys like it? And if you did, uh, put it in the comments and I might continue these. And you might have noticed that the boosters were separated right there. And if you look very closely, those boosters actually have parachutes on them. I don't know why I just use the parachutes because they look like a nose cone. But I'm guessing I forgot to disable them in the staging um, part of the build. So let's just say they were recovered and they were reused again because you know that's that's something the space shuttle did right <laughs> even though it wasn't fully reusable i mean yeah the orbiter was the boosters kind of were but the external tank gone burns up in the earth's atmosphere forever uh yeah uh just checking my periapsis not my periapsis my my apoapsis to see if i'm um ascending as i should be and i was so that's good. And we are coming up on stage separation. There we go. Uh, the second stage has now ignited. And I'm not going to deploy the fairing just yet. Because we're kind of still in the atmosphere. And I like to deploy it high above the atmosphere. I know we're kind of high into the atmosphere now. But <laughs> I don't know. I just like a clean separation. And like when it hits the side of the tank, it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't, really, <laughs> I don't really like that. You know, again, checking my periapsis to see if it's, uh, it's good. So, uh, to the person who's watching this video, how's your day been? You know, mine has, uh, been pretty good. Just finished, uh, recording this playthrough of Kerbal Space Program. You know, feeling pretty good about myself. I'm trying to reach Minmus by the end of the year. Not by the end of the year, by the end of October. Because that will be another big step. For my Kerbal uh, agency. I don't really have a Kerbal agency. <laughs> I just uh, said it because it sounded more professional. Uh, yeah, and once I land on Minmus, not only is it going to be, like, as I just said, a another step for Kerbal Kind, it will also prove once and for all whether Minmus is made of mint ice cream. There goes the fairing. And yeah, uh, people want to know, is Minmus made of mint ice cream? And what does it taste like if it is? It probably tastes like mint. <laughs> I just, I, I, what, what, is, what was that? I'm sorry. Uh, now that I think about it, yeah, uh, if it's made out of mint ice cream, of course it'll taste like mint. So I don't know why I asked myself that. Anyway, we're uh, performing the final burn to uh circularize actually oh no there we go i was gonna say no we're not uh but now we kind of were and oh no i'm gonna you know uh warp to that area because i st my uh my fingers are twitchy with a time warp and i found that out while playing space flight simulator i've missed so many mars encounters I've missed so many Mars, like, um, aero captures, not aero captures, like, uh, I basically just whizzed by the planet while trying to enter, uh, orbit around, let's just say Mars, well, 
you know, Mars I've visited the most. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the footage on screen. Uh, we just reached LKO and just checking my apoapsis and periapsis. Unfortunately, my apoapsis was a little higher, but eh, like a little bit of eccentricity doesn't hurt, you know? And there I'm zooming in on the stage and beginning a slow uh, barbecue roll before jettisoning the stage. There we go. And there we go. We've deployed the satellite. Pretty cool. Uh, activated time warp a little bit so the spin would stop because, <laughs> you know, um, I didn't want to deploy everything while it was spinning. And right now I think the light is on. Yeah, I think I deployed the light already. Uh, no, there we go. It's because it blinks and I couldn't really tell. There they go. There go the solar panels. And yeah, it's basically going to wrap up this video. Uh, tell me what you thought about this commentary in the comments below because I really like doing this. Even though earlier in the video I said I might probably not do it again. I genuinely do like uh, making these because they're um, fun and I feel like people enjoy them. So yeah, uh, all my links and my socials are in the description. As usual, uh, unfortunately no craft file because I don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> and yeah, that's uh, gonna wrap it up. Uh, see you guys later.